Hey YouTube, it's ICU and today I'm going to show you guys five Cydia tweaks that I use all the time that I really do like. So I guess you could call these my five favorite essential Cydia tweaks. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and start. Number one is SB settings. Now SB settings is absolutely amazing. What I can do is I can swipe over here and I get the option to do a whole bunch of different things. I can turn my 3G on and off, airplane mode on and off, Bluetooth, change the brightness right here. See, look, let me go back to it. I accidentally closed out but I can change the brightness right from here and you can open this from inside of practically any application I can also do a lot of other things and as you can see you can have a bunch of different toggles and you can actually download different toggles from City as well now this is a free tweak and in my opinion this is a tweak that every single jailbreaker should have and it also gives you other options as you can see up there it tells me how much RAM I have available at the moment so you can actually do that with SB settings as well and you can also free RAM by going to processes and go to free memory and then it frees your RAM as well as you can see instead of 270 I now have 335 megabytes uh, and it gives you a whole bunch of options so you can go in here and you can set your options as well uh, and this thing is just absolutely amazing you can respring your iDevice which is basically like a soft reboot and practically every single person who jailbreaks knows what respringing is uh, you also get the option to actually turn off your iDevice right here you can reboot power off lock you can also go into safe mode which basically just crashes your mobile substrate so that's the first tweak that I'd like to talk about the second one is activator now you do get this with almost every single application and it is super easy to edit the settings for it all you have to do is go to settings and then you go to activator and then from there you can change it so I can go to anywhere and then I can do headset button short hold single press you get a bunch of different options you get different options with physical keys as well as different gestures that you can perform and you can do it anywhere at the home screen and application lock screen uh, you basically get the option to completely customize how your iDevice works so for instance what I can do is I can go inside of an application like right now I'm inside of photos and I can double tap up there and it exits out so that's just an example of one thing that you can do I can also lock my iPhone just like that instead of actually pressing the button I can bring up the multitasking bar by swiping down and I do use this every single day every single time I'm on my iPhone I use it now my next favorite one is my 3G so I'm just going to search for it and there we go uh, basically my 3G allows you to have applications think that you're on Wi-Fi even though you are on 3G so things like Skype it works so you can avoid having to pay to use the 3G and you can also do different things like increase the quality of YouTube videos because YouTube videos actually play better when uh, you are connected to Wi-Fi and this basically just tricks all applications into thinking you're over Wi-Fi and it is super nice super easy really simple and it's it just works hundred percent so that was the third one the fourth one is called voice activator and it allows you to not only perform different commands by uh, voice control but it also allows it to actually talk if you say something and you can have sort of many conversations I actually did make a video on this a while back so I'll have a link for the full review down below and the more info but I'm just gonna give you a quick demonstration so I'm actually going to be using activator to activate voice control and then I'm just going to obviously say something to voice control so subscribe to I crack your eye device so that was that and now I'm going to make it take a screenshot take picture and I'm also going to make it lock my phone lock down so there we go you can do different things with voice activator and it is really nice and I do like it a lot now my fifth favorite one is called Debian updater toggle and what it does is it allows you to actually update Cydia without being in it and while doing other things so here's the toggle it goes inside of SB settings 
I'm going to toggle it and as you can see I get a little Cydia icon up there now with an arrow going around it and that means that it is grabbing the latest packages so if I try and go into Cydia it says updating PKG source list so Cydia is locked to disable this you can go inside of settings so inside of settings you get different options to like disable it and different safety options as well while you're actually updating Cydia from anywhere on your iDevice. So I made a video on that as well and I will have that full video down below in the more info. So I hope you guys like this video. All of these tweaks will again be down below in the more info and they are all from Cydia and you guys can check them out there. I hope you guys like this video. Please remember to rate it up. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section and also be sure to subscribe my Icy or iPhone channel for daily vlogs and also Icy Vlogs for weekly help videos. So again, hope you guys like this video and until next time, this is ICU signing out.